This is D Brown, Begotten Son, and today we're going to dive within the sound wave of Stalin on a dream. Let's get it. Coming in very hot when the beat drop. Basically, with this hook, it's a super drop because that drop when it first come in, it just comes out of nowhere. Then boom, we go right into it. Drop on your chest. Never play with it, with it like I had the rock on my neck. That was one of the things that I was just giving a shout out to Rockefeller back because because when they was doing that thing as a group. Everything they did, it was just nothing to play around with. So boom. I know your next move basically was this is not checkers. Chess. So I go from this is not checkers, this is chess. And then I think about it and then say, maybe even go. Because when it comes to Go, which is a, a Chinese game, millions of millions upon millions of moves that you can actually do within this game that's much more dynamic than chess. So with that, I'm just going further with it because a lot of people say this ain't checkers, this is chess. And then I push it even further and say maybe even Go. And then expect a, expect a gadget. If you know expect a gadget, you know he always say go, 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 whatever his gadget is. At Stalin on a dream, going after a dream as we all go for, but when you just do it right, when you're just doing it with, with the intention that you're knowing that everything is going to come through for you, it's kind of like, oh, I'm going to go for my dream and I'm going to make it look good when I'm doing it. Sort of like a LSD to sell the trip. Ain't nothing about it psychedelic. But I'm psychic when I astral trip. Circumnavigated like Magellan. LSD and this other trip, basically the way I go into these, these, this music, I come up with things that, that seem weird. Cause if you hear the things in the background, this woman that's singing this ominous note over and over in the background, that gives me this weird feeling, weird vibe. So coming up with, with different tracks like that is like, oh, you would think I'm LSD and on another trip. And then I just say, no, I cir circumnavigate this whole globe like Magellan. Of course, Magellan was the first to circumnavigate the globe. Boom. The more you know. Pioneer and build a higher ceiling. Or remove it all together, depend how I'm feeling. So seeing that you just learned something about um, Magellan, that's a pioneer right there. So that takes me on to pioneering. I build a higher ceiling. But then I say move, remove it all together. Because you know, the saying is for minority that we have like a glass ceiling that's right there. So instead of just busting through it, I bust through and then build a higher ceiling, give us more room. And then I come right back around and say, or remove it all together, depending on how I'm feeling. And then really, maybe really the latter, which is remove it all together. Because let's just remove the whole thing and just keep going for what I, what we want. I'm focused on the ladder. If I speak sincerely, stepping like this, you can be confused as the villain. What it means to have your brand on the line that's the same as the cred, as the balls, as your word. When you're moving like that, when you're just feeling like I'm just removing everything, you have to come with a certain air of, of just just attacking something and when you're attacking something a lot of people get things misconstrued a lot of people don't understand your movement so they thinking oh it's something bad so that's when I come into the things of what it means to have your brand on the line because we always talk about especially in today's culture about what is your brand for this brand that I only follow this brand and all that which brand basically really just means your credibility the cred or your reputation your rest it's just the same thing we just have a different a new term for or the things we've been saying you know just putting your brand on the line that's your balls that's your word we always say stick to your word bending on the curve and be ready for the swerve if you taking what you want they looking like you got some nerve ne ne never staying in my place so you can feel comfortable complacent taking what you want and all that a lot of people look at a lot of things and say you need to chill out you, you're doing too much, you're going too hard. Why you gotta reach so far? Especially when you're going for a dream. Why do you gotta do all this, all these different things? But then I, I basically bring it back down to, I'm not gonna stay in place just for you to feel comfortable complacent. 
that is something right there where a lot of people deal, that's going for something deal with that with the people around them they have good intentions when they tell you not to do certain things but in actuality it's be a lot of people say these things because they really are afraid that you either a going to leave them or two you're actually putting up a mirror to them and showing when you're showing that you, what you're doing in the mirror they see dang he's doing all this and i'm not doing nothing so that kind of hurts them so that's why they try to bring you down so they can try to stop what you're doing so they can feel comfortable about where they're at in life keep my vision sharper than some lasik top level grade a nigga never basic so through all that i'm just like i'm just going to keep my vision sharp i know you may do this on purpose or you just doing it out of love and and you know you're just nervous scared or don't want to look in the mirror but i'm gonna keep my vision sharp and i'm gonna keep on moving forward and then i just throw in a little little tidbits about me where grade a stuff top level stuff nothing basic i like finer things gotta go with finer things in life that's just me i hope you're ready for my cause i don't really care if you ready or not coming with a style get your whole click my talking in shape see that we tip top i think that one's pretty straightforward i mean just just coming mean with it like i hope you're ready or not i really don't care if you're ready because i know i'm gonna come in and really bring the best that i'm gonna bring and just get you with the style that i'm bringing the style that my whole team bringing when it comes to be gotten sounds get your whole click mop easy 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 feeling like i'm dreaming on another trip don't be in your feelings nigga don't you trip home invasions i got something called them hollow tips stay ready that's my motto when i follow it autobiographical stuff right there and that's why i actually put home invasions to let you know i'm not trying to act gangster or nothing with this but i got them holler tips come in for a home invasion we ready me and my family we know how to aim we know how to shoot easy you know on every track you see i'm killing it eighth note genocide away i demo it every week i grand slam like it's wimbledon now i'm in the zone with it seeing you in the zone you executed with finesse hook right there now i'm in the zone with it you know now i'm just coming in with these words and all that so i'm killing it eighth note genocide basically just killing the music off with the music that i'm bringing then we just move on from that the way i demo everything demolition basically basically we move on to the next controversial i guess lines hands off christ i got the will again a lot of people hear that and be like oh my goodness he's talking some paganism stuff he's talking some devilish stuff de demonic stuff and all that because we know the saying you know jesus take the will and when i come in and i say hands off christ i got the will again i'm gonna take the will and people will see that and be like oh that's blasphemous but really i'm actually taking this with the whole thought of where the messiah actually says that greater things you should you shall do things that we're doing with our hands he actually basically put us in charge to actually bring about something more in this world bring about more things and show the glory of the of the father in in this world so instead of always looking on to christ always looking at the messiah always looking outside of you i'm just saying what he always told us which is the father is within the the set apart spirit is within so if it is within us how about you actually step up and then take the lead, take the will, do something for your life and stop waiting. And I'm styling on the dream. Way I look good, see I'm styling for the team. Everybody when you see that nothing about a sinister. I can teach you never preach you far from a minister. Styling for the team. And that's basically saying if I win, the team win, because if everyone wins, then there's nothing about what I'm doing that you might think is mean, might think is evil, demonic. If we're all winning, everyone that's taking part of this, then that's that's great. Nothing about it is sinister. Seeing that I just came out of these lyrics right there, that's what I'm just reminding people. I can teach you some things, but never preachy. I'm not trying to be preachy when I'm talking about any scriptural stuff or anything like that. I'm just speaking my truth and how I'm feeling about it, and I'm just bringing it in a way that don't sound preachy at all, because I'm far from a minister. I don't care to be a minister. I don't care to preach anything. I just care to bring something that you might get. If you learn something from it, great. If it's something that can apply to your life, Great. But I got something that I can't administer. Creative minds always seen as renegade. So I would never be the one to ever cave. And I can only pray that you can relate. Creative minds, being a creative person, being a creative period, you're going to come across a lot of people that look at you and say you're weird. 
you know, you're, you're crazy, you're out there. People put, place these labels on you and try to place these labels to place you in a box because as a true creative, you don't know a box, you know? So they always gonna see you as a rene renegade. Knowing that, I'm just like, I can never be the one to cave. Knowing having all that knowledge back there, I can't cave. I can I can only go forward and continue to create. And hopefully through the creations, you come to understand who I am. I end it off right there with everything before I go into basically the pre-hook again. I basically end it off right there because of everything I just brought within these last four to six or eight bars where it just was getting real meaty. And it's just like a lot of people are going to take a lot of things that I said and misconstrued everything I said. But just to say, whether you do or don't really don't matter because I'm gonna move forward and just continue to bring the art that I'm bringing until you can actually understand the type of art that I'm bringing. So that's the song right there. Wanted to really just map out everything for you so you can actually start to understand or get a little bit of a knowledge of me and, and my personality and what I'm bringing. And still, once again, the nuggets that goes on over top of a song that can actually you can actually still bounce to, dance to. So that right there was styling on the dream and I'm D Brown to be gotten son and until next time I'm out.